Assalamu alaikum. Now, manners is something which most of us have, alhamdulillah. But sometimes there are certain things which get overlooked because we're not perfect. You'll randomly be talking with your friend and he's talking with you and he's saying, Yesterday I was walking down the street and... Uh... What? And then you'll just carry on talking like it's normal. That's not normal. You're not supposed to burp that loud. That's just nasty. Don't make it sound like you've had four burgers. Now when you go to the shop with your friend, you feel a bit parched. So what you do, you go in there, you get a drink. Then you notice your Muslim brother's there as well. And obviously you don't want to be drinking alone. So what you do, you buy him a drink as well. Thanks man. Thanks man? What's that? What am I meant to do with thanks man? Now in Islam we've been given a wonderful, wonderful way of saying thank you. And that's Jazakallah Khair. May Allah reward you with something better. Now that is something that's useful to me. Now why would you swap Jazakallah Khair for thank you? That's like someone coming up to you and saying, I have a 50p and I would like to swap it for your five pound. Do you accept? you will slowly move away from that person because you know he's crazy. Now this next thing is really really annoying. When a brother's told you he's gonna arrive at two o'clock and as expected he's running late. Now what a normal person would do is they would call and say, yep hello um, I'm running late please wait for me. Easy but some brothers don't like to do that. It's two o'clock that he's told you he's going to be there but at three o'clock he's gonna call you and say hello hello oh he's upside down hello hello yeah yeah i'm coming now yeah i'm coming coming where you told me two o'clock now as muslims we're supposed to be people of our word if we've given our word to someone that's like a promise and unless we can make it we should ring that person, text that person, WhatsApp that person, Facebook that person, poke that person, Twitter that person, and anything else to let that brother know that you're going to be running late or you just can't make it. <laughs> yeah, you're tired. We get it. Thanks for letting everyone know. Now in a hadith it clearly mentions that sneezing is something which Allah likes and yawning is something which Allah dislikes. Now when someone makes noise when they yawn, shaitan laughs at that person. Now as Muslims we don't give any satisfaction to shaitan. We want to keep that guy miserable. You know many a times when phones ring in a masjid after Assalamu alaikum rahmatullah, Assalamu alaikum rahmatullah. Where is he? Where is he? That's it. You! It's over now. Sometimes it's a genuine mistake. You know, your phone goes off. And if it does go off, switch it off. Because of your own khushu, you're spoiling the khushu of the other hundred people that are there. They can't concentrate. They're listening to Britney Spears asking people to hit her one more time. Don't go to the brother straight. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Any last du'as? That's just not right. To advise people but to advise them in a correct manner is very very important. Many a times we'll advise someone, especially in a masjid, the guy has come into the masjid once in a blue moon. He listened to some lecture on the Ink of Scholars channel and then he decided to come to the masjid and he's made a little mistake or whatever and you've just gone on him like a ton of bricks. Ah! So, now those are a few things that I noticed. This video is not over till I say it's over. Quit! Yeah. Alright, it's over now. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. <laughs> Can I go now? Why am I asking you? Moth. <gasps>